you can go places and do stuff and things. Hit this. Jump on, uh, jump on this. Go over this way. Hey, what's going on, friends? Family, my name is Skylint, and today we're going to be taking a first look at Satori, which is a meditative, free-running style game. I mean, it's got, like, grappling hooks, air dashes, wall running, and apparently it's going to be set inside of an infinitely generated open world with, like, giant skyscraping buildings, but it's, you know, this very eastern influence, this historical sort of ninja-esque vibe, but also kind of mixed with Mirror's Edge and a little bit of Tony Hawk, as you guys are going to see through the gameplay, but I'm just going to be playing the demo, which is here for the next fest on Steam and which is here to promote indie games. And if you guys want your indie game promoted, I can make trailers or create your websites through development or a number of other things. Email me if you need my services. But much love, guys. You want to see what Satori's all about? Let's get up and running here now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the game has already started. I There's no start menu. There's no... Yep. Okay, here we go. The sandbox demo is a work in progress. Gameplay features an audiovisual representation, presentation... Uh, all that, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I collected a thing. One of 160. Oh, what? Okay, what was that? I dashed? Okay, there's dashes. Um, so this game is supposed to have a lot of dashes and stuff like that. Um, but I have to learn... Whole? What? Uh, I'm recording this at 4 a.m., so I don't want to freaking scream, but what? This is like... If skate parks had no laws of physics <laughs> you know you could just build oh okay okay you could just build anything and just goof off in a video game wow i would love to have made a game like this oh my god this must have been so fun making this okay but how fun is it to play all right so escape for menus controls um we have sliding and a grap is that a grapple can i grapple uh maybe that's oh, oh no no what the what what okay 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 Okay, 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 okay. You can grapple the those little things. Oh, easy does it. Uh, wait, is that time stop? <gasps> Ooh, slow motion. Oh my god. Okay, so many things to just learn. And I can ping like... Wait, what, what was that? What is that? Is that my return spot? That might be my save spot. Oh. And then R, I can... Oh, okay. It's like if you were to take every single special... Uh, feature from a platformer and just throw them throw them all together wall running sliding jump pads and all sorts of stuff what is this oh that just hits play <laughs> okay um anyways we can actually change okay so, oh this is a really interesting um ui actually what the crap this is so strange anyways i think um i think we're ready to play the game now <laughs> Um, and it looks like it is going to be a speedrun style game. I need to do an essay on these type of titles. Parkour first person stuff is in. Satori is looking really cool. So I guess we just wander around and see what we can do. All right. Let's have some fun. Now this does seem to be uh, very indie of a title, but I don't know, man. There's something about platformers that just really excites me. And I've been playing a few of these. So, oh wait, uh, already forgetting my controls. Wait, how do I slide? Oh, okay, that's just is gonna happen. So, all right, we can wall run, let's dash. Do I hold space? I think it, it might just happen automatically. I'm not sure, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, things are happening. Oh, okay, yep, we're just doing this. Okay, wow, a lot of dimensions too. So we just wanna collect all of these. I have no rhyme or reason. I'm just, you know what, we're just gonna jump down. Whoa, this, uh-oh. Uh, R. Okay, so R brought me back. This reminds me of the levels, if you guys ever played it, and you haven't, you should. Jumping Flash. Specifically, Jumping Flash 2 is directly, like, the better game. But Jumping Flash was actually, you know, just a little video game history. The first 3D platformer. It wasn't, it wasn't freaking Mario. Who said it was Mario? What a no Mario. I can't get up there. Okay. And I do like that you can choose whenever you, like, you know, you die, basically. So if you just want to keep chasing one... Okay, I'm going to slow down here. Um, if you want to just keep chasing one, you can do that. Let's grapple this. Oh, and you can use grappling to go upwards. How far can I grapple? Not too far. Kind of. I can go somewhere. <gasps> We're doing it. Oh my god, we are doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am getting it done. Or not. I mean, actually, it's just kind of fun to just goof around. To be honest, I would love to see this game speed ran. 
Oh, that was a jump pad. Nice. Can I just... Whoop! Got it. We're doing good. Uh, what is that? Oh, that one's moving. But yeah, Jumping Flash 2 was really great. This one, obviously... This is obviously a different game, but, um... Still, it's got that, that very vertical feel. That very alien, ridiculous, kind of playground sort of feel. In fact, I've got a Unity project that looks a lot like this, to be honest. Um, I think a lot of people's first games are platformers, you know? But, wow, could you imagine making a game like this? I don't know if you guys have ever tried making a game or, or making maps, like in games like Far Cry or Halo or Roblox, but... Just making a playground for somebody else is so fun. All the different puzzles. Now, this, this is pretty easy. Now, I think the collect thonification is maybe... Maybe a bit overdone. I mean, <laughs> look at this level. Look at they just they just spammed it. They're just like, yeah, shapes and colors and things. But honestly, everything looks really good. Oh yeah, so these are jump pads. Kinda wish the I don't know. I think everyone knows yellow means jump pad, right? Am I am I stupid in thinking that? Yellow means jump pad? Cause it totally does, right? Am I mistaken in that? Though I guess they got the rails that are yellow. So what are your favorites first person? Okay. Bye. What are your favorite first person? person parkour style games there's so many that are coming out um even fps's that have a lot of parkour inspiration wow i didn't land on that rail okay but this one is gonna take the cake this one is this one's actually going right up there i can tell you that right now is this just the demo is this like the the playground mode i don't i don't understand anyways okay so this one oh this one you have to jump hold up hold up so some of them are moving so, wait, what the... Okay. Uh, I think... Am I supposed to... Hold on. How am I supposed to calculate where these things are going? Am I just supposed to fall on it? These are the hard ones. These are the... See, these are the ones that I would, I would have a lot of fun chasing. It would be really cool if you had to actually chase them or really intercept them. So, the static ones are okay. But the moving ones, those are the ones that excite me. So, let's try to get one. Okay, so this one should be easy. I can do this one. Oh, is he moving upwards? Oh, he's going up. Uh, I think I can intercept that one right there. So, if I wanted to wait for it, probably could get it. Am I lying? Am I a liar? What if they just move randomly? That'd be ridiculous. No way. Let's keep it going. So, let's see. Actually, if I go back to the settings here. So, yeah, I got... Wait, C. Is that so I can slide? Oh, that's, so that's for... Whoa. That's for going fast. I don't think we're ready for... Whoa, that's so weird. I don't think we're ready for going fast. Actually, oh, we get that momentum. <laughs> I know it's like a scarf or something, but like, let's pretend it's like a freaking tongue, you know? And dash. Oh, wall jump, dash, air jump? Okay, nope. Anyways, this is pretty cool. Oh, man, yeah, no. People speedrunning this would be so cool. Holy crap. Oh, my God, you can go places if you time it right. You can go places and do stuff and things. Hit this. Jump on, uh, jump on this, go over this way. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, do you guys, do you guys remember playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater, like Underground, where you can make custom maps? I know every single one of you guys made a map that was just rails. This is what this is like. This is totally like Tony Hawk meets Mirror's Edge. It's just a, it's just a fun skate park, except you don't have skates and you're like a ninja robot thing in like a virtual reality with, I don't know, with a scarf. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Hold on, let's let's try to actually chase one of these one of these things here. I'm gonna get it, dude. Oh wait, that one's not moving. Easy. Oh, whoa, we're going. Okay. So how many do we have? 26 out of 160. Wow. Anyways, I think I'm starting to get a little bit of mastery. Oh, what's this rail? What's what's this? What's this guy? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on this. Okay. I, I mean I didn't want to get on it. Um, I was just pretending, but now I really do. So I'm really gonna get on it this time. Okay. Yep. Nope. Okay. Um. There we go. Speed. Do I have to jump over that? There we go. Where does this lead, anyways? Whoa. I'm going fast. How fast can we go? It's a roller coaster. Actually, this is so cool. What if? What if there's a puzzle? What if there's one of those things that's like really high up and you? Oh, if you actually want to drop down really fast, you you can use the uh, slide button. Okay, jump back on. Just kidding. Um, yep, still kidding. Still just a prank. Okay. 
Wow, no, I'm starting to... It is kind of zen-like. The, uh, the actual Steam description is that this is sort of a zen hangout sort of, you know, whenever at your own pace or breakneck pace, play the game. And I totally get it. I could just sit here and do this. We got 29 out of 160. Seems like even just this one level would last a while. I don't know how the game is going to be expanded even further, but... I could see it going places, you know? A game about going places, going places. And I actually really do think that um, this genre is exploding. In fact, I do plan to do an essay. So if you if you know other games that are similar to this, or that are speedrunning parkour style game... I got that one! Sweet! We got a mover! We got a mover, boy! Okay. What about this one? Am I going to get this one? Nice! I am getting good at this game. As he falls into the pit. But yeah, if you guys have any favorites, let me know. Hold on, I think I can get that. I think if I dash, C, jump, dash. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm the greatest. And, um, yeah, I wanted to go to this wall. Not that rail over there. Definitely not. Trying to uh, do something, I think. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at all these little juicies. So many of them. I don't think... Yeah, see, this this was excessive. Why are there so many over here? I don't think I don't think there needed to be that many. It's a little too easy. That's a little too easy. Let's let's keep it hard. And maybe it, it'd be best if it was broken up into levels. But this this game might actually have levels because this is just the demo for the Steam Game Festival, I believe. So, but yeah, there we go. I think we pretty much got the gist of it. I understand that this game is a Zen-like experience. I think I've touched all the controls as well. But yeah, no, the game is performing. Only a few hiccups here and there. A few barely noticeable sound clipping, but overall, like, this is pretty fun. This is pretty interesting. I love this, you know? I love... So, every, people complain about, oh, platformers is everyone's first game, but you know what? It's just so fun, you know? And I've, I've played platformers with grappling hooks, and platformers with sliding, and all of this, but I've never played it with literally all of it, and then just set in a, a Tony Hawk, like it seems like some like 13 year old built this map, but I mean that actually in the best way. It's so weird, but if you guys play custom maps, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes the weirdest, wackiest experimental stuff is kind of the most special. So yeah, actually look forward to a top 10 list coming soon by me of first person parkouring style games. And you know what, honestly, just by like sheer concept alone, I think I'm gonna have to add this one to it. I think I'm going to have to add this to the list. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But this was a pretty chill game. Hopefully a fun experience. And I definitely think you guys should play it. Even if you, you know, you get the gist. Oh, I get with it. No, 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 no. Playing these kind of games gives you a, what is it? Like a vertigo kind of feeling? There, there's a, there is a funness to it. And I think games that feel like roller coasters are the ones that give, like for me, the zen experience. The It's the most potent. So, yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know. Much love. Friends and family. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah.